Hello guys, Mukas here. I'm doing this video to highlight a freaking awesome moment that we had uh, with an open squad and few subscribers that uh, joined the Mukas gaming outfit. So I just spawned the ad holding pass and when I get up the tower I see that the huge zerg that is uh, incoming. Hey guys, come to see this now! Oh my god, what's going? Oh my god, stuff for my videos. Oh my god, what's here? So I place my beacon and call all the team to get here. Uh, but we are actually not enough and they completely outnumbered us. I think they were twice our numbers. Uh, 12 strike towards servant uh, pump right now. <laughs> so we tried to hold the shield generator to stop the vehicles from coming inside the base. But they had uh, deployed thunder on the other side of the holding pass that uh, we weren't uh, expecting. And the infantry swarmed the B and C point and we couldn't do much except defend A for a little time but we finally lost it but I managed to get some kills with the warden it's an awesome gun I love it now I'm using it with the laser sight, 2 times scope uh, high velocity ammo and flash suppressor it's very good at long range and at close range it's uh, also deadly if you do headshots we lost A point quickly and then we got spawn camped by air and vehicles and infantry. So I decided to pull back at uh, NS material storage and uh, place a sender on the cliffs. I need an engineer to repair me, I'm an AV max. So there is a very few occasions where I like to pull my max. And here it's like the perfect occasion when you see a very big zerg incoming and you have a uh, high ground and cover and engineers and ammo. <laughs> So the Ravens are guided missiles, let's anticipate the Zerg. You can almost have 100% accuracy with them uh, if the target is moving in a straight line because the road to holding pass to NS is very exposed from the high hills. That's what I wanted. Wow, Zerg incoming! So I asked to deploy a Sandy right above the holding pass, right above the holding pass road and we got a shitload of vehicle kills. Focus the guy on the front. PTR. So with the two arms, you need uh, two magazines with each arm to take out the lightning from the front and one magazine from the rear. Oh my god, so much kills. The Sandy deployed, guys. They, they don't stop coming. Yeah, it's awesome. I love it. Send it down. Oh my god. Uh, my son is also down. Bad. So we held that road pretty well, but another TR group oh, flanked us from another road. So there is two roads now that get to NS material from holding pass. I think they added it with the PU2. It wasn't there before. It was a death trap. So they could flank us and uh, capture the base. Alright guys, relocate. Let's get to the back road. Shit, infantry inside. Let's get inside, guys. I'm gonna switch to A into anti infantry max and we are gonna breach from the room. I need help. So when I noticed that uh, there was infantry inside uh, holding the A point, I decided to anti infantry max and try to breach the room that is close to the spawn. Help. And we tried to... we managed to breach it. But the TR forces resecured it uh, as soon after and uh, we lost it. Breach the room. I'm down, need revives. So I decided to redeploy at Rashnu Tower and prepare the counter attack. <coughs> Alright, guys, do you have uh, resources to pull tanks at Rashnu Watchtower? I'm gonna pull one, I'm gonna need a gunner. Yeah, at Rashnu Tower we found some enemies that were that were already there. They couldn't even capture it, but I think they got here to stop the NC from pulling vehicles. So we had to take them out so we could spawn tanks uh, safely. And that was a really nice moment with the Warden and the revolver. Oh shit, they're coming! I don't really need the revolver for uh, this weapon because the Warden already have an um, awesome range. But actually I'm, I like to use the revolver with my engineer so I can blow up mines in one shot, it's very useful. They also brought the uh, Sunder and uh, started the spawning infantry and uh, they scared me a little but we managed to take them out quickly. The Sunder went down and the vehicle bay was, was secure. 
Sandy deployed. I got it. Good. Alright, and you gunner, I'm gonna go to NS. Ah, tank incoming. Tank on the road. I can't do them get in. I have a gunner. So I pull the tank and I immediately start charging. Uh, my vanguard has the enforcer on the, the top with the few ammo capacity upgrades, uh, big zoom, and I'm running nanite auto repair. Rear shot, shoot the rear! Tank down. Focus. And the default heat cannon, which is uh, pretty versatile. That's why I, I, I prefer it over the AP because I still uh, need the, the splash to take out some infantry that is getting too close. So with it I have the rival chassis maxed out. I think it's awesome to back off quickly. And the turn. Alright, Zerg incoming. Points, lot of points incoming. And uh, the Zerg w just took NS material and they started coming in our direction. We completely crushed them, that was awesome. And then we started to push to NS material. Shitload of points! Oh my god, guys. Awesomeness. Shoot the point! From there we destroyed like M almost everything, every vehicle. And I decided to continue to Crimson Bluff Tower because that was the next lattice link. And I was sure that the their Zerg will, will be there. And uh, with our tanks we cannot capture NS materials. So we had to make them count. So we took the TR Zerg from the butt and here is what happened. <coughs> awesome. Let's uh, check Crimson Bluff. But operation, oh we can snipe them from here! Ah, oh, start shooting! Let's rush them! Nice! Tanks from the rear! Good! Let's rush! I'm almost out of ammo, I'm gonna build and put mines. Oh my god, we just destroyed everything I think. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Out of ammo, shoot gunner, shoot! I'm repairing you. So I completely get out of ammo with my uh, tank cannon. So I decided to get out and repair and let my gunners sh shoot. And after that I just maneuver to give him a shot. But I'm finally forced to get out and uh, fight on the ground with the warden. Which is awesome in these uh, open areas. So we lost our all tanks in, the, in this suicide mission but it was awesome. And after that it was much easier to defend the Crimson Bluff Tower. And that's it guys. I wanted to highlight this moment Keep because shooting. Uh, it was crazy. We destroyed like a shitload of vehicles, maybe 20. And it was awesome. And that's it guys. If you enjoyed, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a big ass thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated guys. And I would love to hear your feedback about uh, these new kind of videos because I tried to mix up the live commentary uh, squad leading and the post commentary to explain the situation. I hope it was clear enough guys. And if you want to see more gameplay like this, tell me because uh, we had a lot of good moments with the open squad and I could uh, post uh, some other videos like that if you want guys. And that's it. I'll see you in the next video guys. See you.